Are Swiss banks in trouble? How safe is your money with Credit Suisse? In this video, you will discover that Swiss banks are attacked. Swiss banks are the victim of a defamation campaign by the Anglo-Saxon media. Based on the example of Credit Suisse, we will, you will discover that the share price of Credit Suisse is under pressure and is four times lower than the real value of the bank. Stay with us. Caputo and Partners, SwissBankingLawyers.com. We fight for your money. My name is Enzo Caputo. I'm a Swiss banking lawyer. I am the owner of the boutique law firm Caputo and Partners and the blog SwissBankingLawyers.com. This is the place where successful international business people find tips and solutions to better protect their money with Swiss banks, to pay less tax and to make more money. We fight for your money. Our interview partner of today is a former Credit Suisse banker and banking expert, Mr. Dario Berto. He will tell us everything about Credit Suisse and everything you should know about the real value of Swiss banks at the moment and in particular the real value of Credit Suisse. But he will tell us what happened, he will tell us everything about Credit Suisse. Dar, it's a great pleasure to have you in you. my show today. Thank you so much. So what is the truth about Credit Suisse? Tell us the truth about the Swiss, these very much attacked Swiss banks. Okay, first of all, uh, we had a lot of rumors, a lot of short sellers, a lot of hedge funds, uh, and also the media, Twitter and TikTok, up to Facebook, uh, a lot of blogs which uh, were uh, firing uh, against uh, Credit Suisse. But uh, I would say uh, they suffered very much also the stock price uh, the last couple of weeks uh, when you see uh, most uh, of the negative press uh, was just rumors and um, fake news. And not only, of course, because okay. you saw Thursday was the big uh, strategy co commitment, a new strategy of Credit Last Suisse. Thursday, last week. Last yes, Thursday, this, yeah, yeah, you saw Axel Lehmann and yeah. uh, Ulrich, so called the knife uh, Körner, uh -huh. uh, which uh, proposed uh, the new strategy. was Obviously, the market was not really happy about uh, the new strategy because the, the share price dropped nearly 16% on Thursday, recovered a little bit on Friday, but apparently it was not enough but tell what us, they presented. Tell us about the new strategy. According to my understanding, the new strategy is they want to decrease investment banking and they want to increase private banking. So they want to make wealth management more important and in the future they don't like the risks involved with investment banking. Yes, they will rebrand uh, the investment banking, which is interesting to Credit Suisse uh, First Boston, yeah. which is a very old traditional name. I think it's a very uh, wise uh, choice of the Credit Suisse management to rebrand this investment banking. What is less uh, attractive is they want to sell uh, uh, big parts of the investment banking, uh, especially the, the parts which are very lucrative yeah. but capital intensive it's called uh, SPG structured products uh, department let's say they want to sell to Apollo and PIMCO um, I understand this uh, part of the strategy because it's very capital intensive but nevertheless it's one of the pillars of Credit Suisse where they earned the past years very much money. Okay. But of course they want to focus on the less capital intensive and uh, less risky business. Less risky banking. like yeah. it's international private banking and private banking 
They also suffered uh, this year because from 2.5 billion uh, profits we went down to 1.6 billion in uh, losses. And how this come? Year. How come these losses? What happened? What is the truth? So uh, we had some scandals. Obviously, uh, Credit Suisse was in all. We had all the scandals. We had all the scandals. So Swiss Credit Suisse yes. was present in all newspapers. It was present yes. basically in all scandals. Yeah, and we can mention also a few. You can mention tell us Green the, Sale. Yeah, tell us the most important scandals. Green mm -hmm. Sale. Uh, uh, this year we had Green Sale. We had, we had Arkegos, uh, which was a big, big loss, uh, leveraged uh, hedge fund. Uh, we, we had, had Mozambique. Um, we had Mozambique uh, also, which uh, Credit Suisse was heavily involved. Uh, last year we had this, uh, or two years ago, we had the Spygate, uh, which was very negative um, for, uh, for Credit Suisse. It was in the Financial Times and everywhere in the world, very negative press. We had also the, f the chairman who... Uh, the Spygate, yeah. The uh, no, the, we had the chairman also of Credit Suisse, which uh, was involved in um, violating the the corona the covid uh, sanctions uh, he went to the tournament uh, wimbledon and uh, okay same as the uh, prime also minister, he had yeah. to retire yeah, yeah. Um, okay. okay so we had a lot of scandals okay we had a lot of scandals but what how you judge the share price is this a fair share price the, is the share price in, in line with the real value of the bank or is it really four times less can you... Um, uh, yeah, well, it's always something? difficult and the market at the end is always right. So the stock price is around uh, 4 Swiss franc, which give a valuation to Credit Suisse of around 10 billion, which is the lowest ever yeah, I remember. Record uh, I remember the time when Credit Suisse was valued over 100 billion. Now we are at 10 billion. They looked for new capital. And they Maybe. found new capital uh, in the Gulf uh, region. So ho yes. who are... Uh, the Arabs uh, tell us a little bit about the yes, we have, injection, uh, capital the injections. Saudi National Bank, which will invest uh, around 1.5 billion. Saudi National Bank is owned by, uh, is controlled by King Salman, obviously. Yes, so 35 percent so uh, belongs to. This was very much criticized. This was very much criticized in the Swiss media that they said that there is a sold out. Uh, to King Salman and that King Salman was involved uh, in the in the in the scandal with the in journalists uh, killings in in, in Istanbul etc etc. Yeah, so they, the, the they call it also Saudi credit instead Saudi. of Credit Suisse. Yeah, now they, they, uh, some Swiss uh, media are calling uh, Credit Suisse now Saudi credit because of the new capital injections from Saudi Arabia. Yeah, Correct. but the real value, according to my opinion. The real value of the bank. So, if you measure, if you measure the the, the, the real value mm -hmm. with the share price, there is a discrepancy. Yeah, you can count uh, so-called book value, exactly. where you see uh, how much uh, equity the bank has and reserves, and you divide it through uh, the amount of shares yes. you, you have outstanding. So, you see probably just the book value is around four to five times higher than the stock price. Four to five times higher than the stock price. That means that an intelligent investor, this can even be a, an opportunity to, to invest because the, pri the share price is that low that uh, a clever investor uh, should invest right now. Can even be for certain people an investment opportunity. Maybe, maybe, but yes. uh, it's a difficult market this year and next year will be also very difficult, which will reflect in the, in the future revenues and cash flows yeah. Credit Suisse can generate. And um, also the private banking division, for example, they are very much focused on uh, on good markets yeah. uh, compared to to UBS, which has more uh, stable revenues, they had also less revenues uh, this year, but uh, much more stable than you see the revenues of Credit Suisse, which are focused on uh, growing markets. Uh, also, on Asian clients, which are investing and leveraging their portfolio, so very much in Credit Suisse was focused on growing and good stock markets. Meanwhile, they should probably also change a little bit this strategy and, and try to generate more stable revenue. I, I am convinced that Credit Suisse will, will be successful in the future, that they will survive because they have a long tradition. They had uh, 
quite several crises in, in, the, in the history. I am fully convinced that the Credit Suisse will survive this crisis because if you see the other Swiss banks, the business is booming. Uh, the other Swiss banks, uh, they, they are great. At the moment they are doing great because, because of uh, COVID, COVID, because of the Ukraine war, the world has become more insecure. Absolutely. What that means, the world has become more insecure, so that means that people bring more money to Switzerland. So in the last two years, all Swiss banks increased their business. Absolutely, you saw so net new money increasing in almost all the Swiss banks. And uh, exactly. we have also now many applications in FINMA for a new banking license. Even so we it have seems to be an yeah. attractive market. Even for new banks, we have even a couple of new banks applying yes. for the banking license. So this is a sign that the Swiss banking industry is booming and not under pressure or in trouble according to the media in the Anglo-Saxon world because uh, UK and the United States of America they are not friends of Switzerland. They are attacking Swiss banks because of business. That's okay, just business. This is my that's opinion. Business. That's, that's business. That's business, you know. That's so they business. are attacking but this is nonsense that Swiss banks uh, are in trouble. The truth is the opposite, the opposite is the truth. Absolutely, absolutely. I think Credit Suisse will survive. Also the credit default swaps uh, rates uh, were decreasing finally. So uh, this is really a good sign. Exactly. And I want to eliminate this. I want to destroy this defamation uh, campaign uh, from the Anglo-Saxon media and, and, uh, and tell the truth here. Here we are telling the truth, we are telling figures. So uh, what, is your, what is your forecast? I know you don't have a crystal ball, but mm -hmm. what will be the forecast of Credit Suisse for next year? I think uh, it will be growing and um, uh, the business will be more stable in the future. Mm -hmm. Yes, More stable because they will be more careful, they will uh, face many uh, less risks. Less costs. Less also costs. They will, so uh, they will, this, how many people they will uh, kick out? 9,000. 9,000 people. Nine they uh, put a lot of, they have a lot of stuff outside Switzerland, also in Poland for cost reasons. Absolutely. So, so Absolutely. they will optimize the cost, of course, mm -hmm. but that doesn't mean that the bank will not, will not survive. So I'm fully convinced that they will... Uh, uh, they will survive, they will survive and they will the be banks. stronger in the future. Yeah, they Absolutely. Will be stronger in the future and maybe they will also uh, enter in new business sectors, Credit Suisse. Um, can this be that they will do maybe, for example, commercial banking or trade finance or... Uh of course they have to because Credit Suisse is probably the most traditional Swiss bank and they come from the commercial side. Yeah. Uh, they were very big with their uh, entrepreneurs and they still are very big. In Switzerland, uh, Credit Suisse is still uh, very much profitable uh, and um, most of the commercial clients in Switzerland, they have an account also with Credit Suisse. So they are a very important pillar of the whole business. And uh, uh, it's a wise decision to focus also on, on those uh, pillars which made uh, Credit Suisse in the past very strong. You have to know that, you know, I receive many phone calls. So each day I receive a couple of phone calls of uh, Credit Suisse clients, they ask me, should I stay with Credit Suisse or should I close my bank account with Credit Suisse? In these cases, I analyze the case and I tell them if they are since many years with Credit Suisse and these are small accounts, I tell them to stay with Credit Suisse because there is absolutely no reason to fear Credit Suisse will survive for sure. And unless, unless somebody calls me with, with, with big amounts of money, obviously in this case I, t I tell them don't keep all the money with Credit Suisse. You have to diversify because of asset protection and because of minimization of risk uh, strategy. So I will tell them the truth, but I don't tell them run away, run away from Credit Suisse but because there is no reason uh, to run away. Absolutely, but we saw in October that many clients left uh, Credit Suisse. Yes. That's reality. That's the reality. Uh, many clients a lot left. Of also, Swiss uh, clients they move to the cantonal banks. Um, if uh, I think this is always involved with uh, costs, yeah. uh, because changing the bank. You must know. Yeah, you must know because sometimes if it's really a decision out of the bad rumors. Because what happens if a bank, if a Swiss bank goes back bust, 
If a Swiss bank goes bankrupt, what happens with your money? What happens with your money? So the first 100,000 liquidity are safe because they are protected. Absolutely. Anyway, in cash. In cash. So liquidity is protected. Your investments, your investments are also protected. So you have the right to take out from the bankruptcy mass to take out your investment. So your investments, the money, invested money is fully protected because 100%. in hundred percent because in case of bankruptcy, you can take out this money from the bankruptcy mass. So what you lose in case of bank secrecy is the liquidity exceeding hundred thousand Swiss francs. But as long the money is invested, even in in, uh, in securities, products, in securities which there are instruments very close to liquidity. So even if the money is invested in this kind of instrument, it's not considered liquidity. So these assets uh, are protected. They are so segregated. They are segregated. Exactly. You can take it out from the bankruptcy mass. So this money is safe. So I would say the Swiss banking system is one of the safest banking systems in the world. And that's why so many people are bringing money, huge amount of money uh, to Switzerland, especially now in the last uh, two years. And the allegations from the Anglo-Saxon media that Swiss banks are in troubles, this is full nonsense. This is completely nonsense. I don't, uh, I really don't understand how people can, can believe uh, this nonsense. But we are here to tell you the truth. And the truth, as we have seen today, thanks to our uh, banking expert, sure. the Thank truth you. is the Thank opposite. You. And I'm fully convinced that Credit Suisse will have uh, a positive future very soon. Me too. Thank you very Thank much, you. Dario, for being Thank with you. us today. Information just like this you cannot find in libraries, not in bibliotheques and not in the internet. If you like more information just like this, press the subscribe button and ring the bell. By doing so, you will never miss a new video. In case you have an issue you want to discuss with me, you have a question you want to discuss personally with, with me, take your mobile phone and dial this number 0041442120444. Give me a call and I will discuss your question with you face, uh, on the phone free of charge. Be rich and stay rich. I wish you a beautiful day.